My name is Saurav, and uh, on popular demand, I want to show you how to make dhokla, or in English, a sort of salty cake, in this uh, 8.6 inch skillet. In this, what we do is take one cup of basin or gram flour, just the same measure of semolina and gram flour, and then put one same measure of yogurt, And to prep this uh, pot, just use a drop of oil so that the dhokla will not, even though it's virtually non-porous material for cooking purposes, but uh, you know, you know, dhokla has a tendency to kind of not come out easily, and it's like cake. So cake needs to be either fruit lined or some kind of lining. So just one drop of oil, and we wipe it off with a paper towel. And in this, we'll put one uh, teaspoon of uh, eno, which is the rising uh, agent, and one teaspoon of sugar, which I have already measured, and quarter teaspoon of turmeric to give it color, and half a teaspoon of paprika, pepper to give it taste, and same amount as we put for eno, same amount of salt. And we will put two tablespoons of grapeseed oil. And then we stir it up. And we'll also add same measure of water to this dhokla flour. Not on medium, but medium low you start. And as soon as it takes a little bit, then you turn it, pour it in there. And cover. So when it takes, we are going to reduce it to low. And when it's done, then we'll let it stand for five minutes. When it's done, we'll put a little bit of oil on top, seasoned with a little bit of mustard seeds and a little bit of curry. And so we'll just let it cook and wait. So this is dhokla without much effort. Imagine when we make dhokla normally, we put a pot to steam, then we put another layer of this thing, plates to steam, and this is getting done so easily. In Hindi, if you dhokla is this, it will be so easy and so easy that if you have a mind for your food, you can prepare dhokla in 5-6 minutes. You should have a cup of basin, a cup of suji, a cup of dahi, and a cup of water. You should have a cup of water. और नमक स्वाद अनुसार जैसे भी आपको अच्छा लगे पर मेरे हिसाब से आधा चम्मच नमक और एक चम्मच नमक एक चम्मच इनो और आधा चम्मच मिर्ची और चौथाई चम्मच हल्दी तो ढोले को ढोकले को एंजॉय करते हैं हैव अ लुक इट्स रेडी एंड वी हैव रिड्यूस्ड इट टू द मिनिमम एंड नाउ वी टर्न इट ऑफ नाउ वी विल पुट द सीजनिंग ऑन टॉप एंड दिस पार्ट वी विल यूज टू फॉर द सीजनिंग ऑन टॉप so I turn it on to medium, and then I add this handle so I can pour it easily. This is the long handle. This was the short handle. And in this, I'm going to put two tablespoons of oil for the seasoning on top. I put, I put two and a half. This is a little bit less than a tablespoon, so I put two tablespoons will be enough. And when it's, we will do that same test, we'll cover it so that it heats up quickly. For heating, I suggest grapeseed oil is the best when you want to either deep fry or want to use it as a chonk or baghar or this. So, we are putting a chonk in the dhokla. I'm Hindi. So, we have a little bit of rye. And you know, rye or mustard seeds are going to splatter. So, what you do is you cover it with the lid and wait until it starts splattering. So, can you hear the splatter? When it starts to splatter, you reduce the heat to low and add curry leaves. And then add two ounces of water. Now your seasoning is ready to be poured over dhokla. And it's a good idea to use a spoon rather than just pour it over so you get even amount of seasoning all over. 
So once you have covered it nicely, you can put it for the leftover.